Hey Divas, so in today's video I will be sharing with you guys my winter foundation routine and excuse my voice, I'm um, I'm a little sick um, due to the uh, cold weather or the weather change in California. But anyways, I wanted to come and share with you guys my winter foundation routine. If you guys don't know or you're new to my channel, I always try and use different products. Well, I always use different products when the season change. Um, simply because when the season change, um, things change with your skin and things like that. So I did go ahead and use the Fashion Fair um, foundation sticks and these are more creamy. Um, this is something that I would not use like in the summer and spring months simply because um, I'm an oily girl and yeah, this will be a hot mess in the summertime. But however, for the winter time, um, I tend to get a little drier so I can use these cream sticks. And I wanted to mention that they are absolutely amazing as well as the concealer. If you're looking for a full coverage type of foundation, this is definitely it. I would definitely recommend it. But yeah, divas, I'm not going to make this intro too long. If you guys are interested in my winter foundation routine, then go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, Divas, so first I'm going to start off by moisturizing my lips. Then I'm going to move on to hydrating my face. I'm using the Mario Badescu Rose Water to go ahead and hydrate my face, and this will be acting as my moisturizer as well. Next, I'm going to be taking this primer, and I'm going to be applying that onto my face. I'm using almost like my whole hand to apply it because I like to let it get tacky on the back of my hand and then I like to just go ahead and take distribute that all over my face and then just go ahead and rub it in and just blend it in really really well and by the way I wanted to mention that everything will be listed in the description box below now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows because I forgot to do them next I'm moving on to the NYX pore filler I'm still loving this because my pores are ridiculous like around my nose area and on my nose so I like to just go ahead and um, put that on so that it can minimize the appearance of my pores and it really really does work next I'm going to be using this concealer trio by um, fashion fair and I'm going to be taking this color although it looks brown it is like a very very warm brown that is almost orange and I'm going to be taking that to color correct I have been having problems with my skin so I do have a couple of dark marks so what I'm basically doing is concealing those so that we have a flawless finish when uh, we apply our foundation so yeah that's all I'm doing is placing and then after I place it then I'm going to be blending it out And I will also be color correcting on my neck because I have terrible, terrible dark marks on my neck because um, I'm not too sure why. Like, I always just have dark marks on my neck. Like, it's just terrible. Like, I don't know if they'll ever go away. But yeah, I'm just color correcting that. And just wanted to let you guys know what I was doing, just taking it down my neck. And then next I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out. Now when you blend it out and you color correct, you want to blend it out, but you don't want to blend it out too much because then it's going, once you blend it out too much, you'll be able to see the dark marks. So just kind of lightly blend it to the point where it's not cakey. Just blend it to where it can be smooth um, and still provide that smooth canvas for your foundation. Next we're going to be moving on to the foundation and this is the Fashion Fair foundation stick and this one is in Sable and I just wanted to tell you that just in case even though it will be listed in the description box below just in case you're my skin tone and you wanted to know what color you should get so I'm just going to be applying that on my face and you guys please bear with my voice like I'm getting a little bit sick because of this crazy weather but yeah now I'm just going to be placing that all over my face this foundation is very full coverage so keep that in mind if you're gonna go and use it or if you don't like full coverage you don't have to use this next I'm gonna be taking a flat top brush and this is from the BH cosmetics sculpt and blend set the first one and I'm just going to be blending that all over my face so I'm gonna kind of buff it and smooth it right into my skin and it gives that beautiful finish to your foundation I absolutely love this brush set I would definitely recommend it that's what I'll be using during this tutorial because these brushes are just really really amazing but yeah that's all I'm doing I'm just buffing it in and using circular motions and just all kind of motions just basically buffing it to my skin
Okay, so I'm going to be going back to that concealer trio and I'm going to be taking this color. This color is going to be used to highlight. I will be highlighting underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow and my chin and a little bit on my forehead. Um, <clears throat> I like to highlight those areas because those are the areas that I like to give light to and bring forward. Um, it does vary on everybody though, like everybody um, has different face shapes and things like that. I feel like this is what best complements my face. So I think that's the one important thing that everybody should explain when they do these tutorials on when you're highlighting. You should highlight the areas that you want to bring forward. And it might ne not necessarily be the same ones that I like to bring forward, but yeah, I'm just sharing, you know, what I want to bring forward. I'm also going to be highlighting underneath my brow bone because that is a part of my foundation routine. Um, I just don't show it during my tutorials because I just feel like it's unnecessary because it's a part of my foundation routine. Now I'm going to be taking um, this pointed type of brush and this is also from the BH Cosmetics Sculpt and Bloom. I think I already said that. Okay, you guys know that where this brush is from <laughs> because I already mentioned it. But um, yeah, I'm just going to be taking that and I'm going to blend it out. I absolutely love using this brush to go ahead and blend out my concealers because it just blends effortlessly like you barely even have to do anything and it just it just blends like this brush is so perfect for that but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and blend everywhere where I apply my um, highlighting concealer Next it's time for us to move on to contour, I'll be using another foundation stick by Fashion Fair and this one is in teak. So I'm going to be highlighting the hollows of my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose and right like underneath my chin and on my forehead, I don't know if I mentioned that but yeah on my forehead as well. Um, these are the areas that I want to appear a little bit slimmer not because I don't like my face I just like to do that when I'm applying makeup okay so that is where I am applying my contour and like I said this is what I feel best complements my face I like to do the hollows of my cheeks because I feel like it gives my face a more slimmer appearance basically everywhere I contour it gives my face a slimmer appearance and that's why I like to go ahead and contour it so anyways I'm gonna be using another amazing brush from BH Cosmetics and this just blends effortlessly like I know I said that like during this whole tutorial but like seriously if you don't have this brush set you need to get it because it really really helps you to blend like and you don't have to blend until your arms fall off like it just really gets the blending done for you so yeah I'm just blending out all the areas um, that I contoured and yeah that's pretty much it um, like I said before, you have to go ahead and contour your face where it best complements your face shape. Don't just contour where you see everybody else contouring just because, you know, that's what they're doing. You have to make sure it works for you. And I contour around my forehead even though it's small because I just want to bring warmth um, to my foundation, by the way, not to make it slimmer. And then I like to contour my nose because who doesn't like a snatched nose? Okay, so next I'm going to be um, setting all the areas where I applied concealer because we want to set those, keep them in place. So I'm going to be taking this color and I'm going to be setting um, all the areas where I highlight it. So under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my forehead, and my chin. Okay, so next it's time for me to set my um, my contour, my contour, get it together. So now I'm just going to go ahead and set my contour. I absolutely 
loved using this powder to set my contour. It's by MAC. It's actually a blush. I forgot the name of it, which is terrible. How do I love it? And I forgot the name. But, of course, it will be listed in the description box below. But I just absolutely been loving this. Like, this might be a year-round favorite. But, anywho, I'm just setting all of those areas. And then next I'm going to be applying this MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deepest or Deepest Dark. And I'm just going to be using that to go ahead and set my face. I absolutely love this to set my face. Like, it just... It's just amazing like I just I can't express how much I love it like I just really do it's like my favorite setting powder from all over my face okay diva so once you set your face with your finishing powder this makeup look is pretty much complete I want to thank you lovely diva so so much for watching hope you've enjoyed and found it easy to follow be sure to go ahead and comment like and subscribe for more videos and I will see you lovely divas in my next video bye